the president of Argentina visited the site of last week's terror attack in New York. Eight people were killed in the attack, including five Argentines. The Argentinian president said such tragedies unite people of goodwill around the world. He was accompanied by New York Mayor Bill de Blasio. This was not just an attack on eight individuals. It was not just an attack on New York City. It was not just an attack on the United States of America. It was an attack on all of humanity. It was meant to tear us apart, to undermine our faith in each other. UK Prime Minister Theresa May said that her government was going to introduce a new grievance procedure and safeguards for parliamentary staff. The announcement came in the wake of a sexual abuse scandal that has rocked British politics. We have agreed a way forward. Uh, we are going to ensure that there's an upgrade to the existing phone line for staff so that staff in future will be able to get face-to-face -face HR support and that for that to be in place by the end of the month. And we've also agreed that we need a completely new grievance procedure for staff working here, uh, for everybody working here, and that that should come into effect in the new year. On grounds of it being a giveaway to the rich, the Democrats slammed a bill representing the top goal for President Donald Trump and Congressional Republicans for the elections in 2018. Chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, Kevin Brady, however, asserted that his bill would increase wages and take home pay for the middle class. This plan has never had a single public hearing nor does any member of the Trump administration have the courage to come and sit at that desk and answer questions about this bill. Indeed, no expert witness has been given the opportunity to explain this bill's deficiencies. A prominent Egyptian rights lawyer has said that he will run for president in next year's elections. The move is unlikely to seriously challenge the campaign of the incumbent general turned president but will test his popularity at a time of deep economic hardships and a relentless crackdown on dissent and Islamic terrorists. Officials say that the 26 people killed in a shooting at a small South Texas church range in age from 18 months to 77 years old. Freeman Martin a regional director of the Texas Department of Safety said that 20 were injured in the shootout. The UN World's Meteorological Organization said this year is already on track to be one of the three hottest years of all time. After 2015 and 2016, which were both affected by a powerful El Nino, the WMO says key indicators of climate change such as rising carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere rising sea levels and the acidification of oceans are continuing unbated this year. The sea level rise is one of the key evidence of uh, the global warming uh, because actually 70 percent of the heat, additional heat, is absorbed by the ocean which leads to uh, an increased heat content in the, in the ocean and therefore an expansion which we call a thermal expansion of the ocean.